All right, welcome everyone. Today we have Gonzalo, and uh, he's a native of Peru. Uh, so, you know, he does a lot of ayahuasca, <laughs> or at least he's done it. And he also has this amazing podcast. And the podcast, you know, it's, it's think of it like something like the Afro D Academy, but it's, you know, it's, a, it's an actual podcast. He's been working on it for years. He, you know, it's really great people on it, including me. I was on it today. Um, and yeah, dude, thanks a lot for coming. It's, it's really cool what you're doing for men out there. Thank you so much, um, Farhan. And, uh, it's a great honor being with you here. Yeah, dude. So, so one thing that's very unique about Gonzalo is that he is looking at a lot of issues that men are facing today. Because, and you, you told me during our interview that one of the main things that men face is this thing of porn addiction. And, you know, we Absolutely. did a, the interview about porn addiction, testosterone and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you've dealt with a lot of, you know, Hispanic people and non-Hispanic people, all sorts of people, right? Mm -hmm. What I really want to ask you today is, what is the most surprising thing that you've learned? The most shocking thing that you've learned over the years? Because when we go into a certain platform or a certain thing, like we create something, we don't know what to expect. It's unknown, right? It's mm -hmm. like stepping into the unknown. Like, like I didn't know what the hell the Aphrodite Academy was going to be. I just did it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm like, oh, 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 a lot of stuff shocks me. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you from all of your learning and experience, is there something that you were like, damn, I didn't expect this ever. I never expected men to go through this mm -hmm. or I never expected someone to come to me for this. Can you think of yeah, something like that? Absolutely. And I can think about two things. Number one. Yeah. <clears throat> Number one. Um, when I, when I, pub when I published um, Venciendo la Adicción al Porno, Conquering Porn Addiction, which is the, the, the Spanish version that I published first, um, I got a lot of coverage. Since this is a taboo topic in the Spanish-speaking world, I got a lot of coverage in the Hispanic community in the U.S. and in Latin America. And I started getting, like, I, I had built my practice as a coach that, you know, assists men on, on their healing process, right? And I noticed that at the beginning, I was so excited. Hey, I'm getting clients. I'm leaving my mission and all that. And I was, at the, at the beginning, very frustrated with um, kind of like, man, this man is not getting well. This man... What's going on? And I, and I started really reevaluating, but I've done my research. I've done a lot of work with the body. I do a, like somatic work. I, I work a lot with emotions. So what's going on, right? And I found out one very surprising thing. That's why today I talk to men before I start working with them, working with them, just to check if I am a good match and if they are willing to heal. Because my realization is that many men that are suffering with porn addiction, they don't want to heal, they want to stay there. And you know what? It's fine. Everything is perfect. They will because it's a decision and then it's committing every day to that decision. Farhan, I still have the cravings to watch porn. You know what? And, and, and I was about to commit suicide in 2016 because of PIED, porn-induced erectile dysfunction. And I, I went to such a hole um, with this big depression. And it was, it was terrible. And after having this realization, I said, you know what? It's okay. I need to understand that every single human being is going through a path. A path and... I cannot have the Harry Potter magic wand and try to he heal everybody. No, I can't. My only responsibility is Gonzalo's happiness, Gonzalo's joy. And that's number one. And number two was actually something cultural, which is um, I was capable of understanding how the Latino culture was, has so much 
shame and guilt ingrained on the subconscious conversation of sexuality in general. So in other words, being a porn addict is somehow the psychological equivalent of be, the, the equivalent of being a psychological loser. So those two things, obviously in the English speaking world, there is, there is a lot of shame still attached to porn addiction is probably triple in the Latino culture. But the first one was very, very shocking to me. I cannot work with a man that doesn't want to heal. How do you know? I just, I just start ask, asking very, very deep questions and like putting, when you start asking very high quality questions, you, after the third or, or, or the fourth question and putting the story aside, you get to the truth. And then he'll tell you, he'll tell you, it's, it, it, believe me, this is, this is shocking, but unfortunately it is human nature. You know, there is, there is this subconscious world that accounts for probably 90% of our decisions. And if they still want to look at, look at this, what happens with a porn addict is most of the time they have some emotional shock that happens when they were a kid, right? And they received the childhood wound. It can be abandonment. It can be humiliation. It can be like a big pain, a sexual trauma, whatever it is. But because you had this shock in your childhood, right? Then it, it, it's even worse if it's associated to sexuality, right? Then you stay on the childhood, on the child persona, and sexuality is associated to that child. And in your adult life, you will try to relieve a similar situation so you can go back consciously, and this, is, this happens unconsciously, but you go back consciously to resolve that problem so you can recover back to the adult, the power that is trapped with the child. But the problem is how a, a, a mature and a, ma, a complete man lives his sexual life. A complete man lives his life by, I like that woman, I'm going to seduce that woman, and I'm going to fuck that woman. That's a man. A child goes to the screen, oh, mom and dad and grandma and my uncle, they, they cannot see me, and they start jerking off to the screen, and they build, the kid is running their sexual lives. So going back and heal that kid, so do emotional, deep, deep emotional work is crucial to heal the porn addiction. So do you, do you do certain inner child exercises to take them back? My tantra teacher has done this with me. Like you mm -hmm. go back to when you were a child, you put yourself in that position and you feel that. Do you Absolutely. do Absolutely. Oh, that's yeah, what you do yeah. in your coaching? Okay. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then as a matter of fact, I, I, I came to a beautiful realization and I'm, I'm so happy. That's why I'm saying that, uh, you and I, we have so many things in common because like you, you, you mentioned a couple of times your Tantra teacher. I, I am following the path of sacred sexuality, but more on the Taoist sexuality. Jerónimo García, the Mexican master, Taoist master, um, he, he trained 31 years with Manta Chia. Wow. And he's probably the most authorized. He's my, my teacher. And I'm following the Taoist sacred sexuality path but also I'm following the International School of Temple Arts, ISTA, School of Sacred Sexuality, which is probably the, the biggest school of sacred sexuality in the world because I came to the beautiful realization. That's why I bless my porn addiction, my 22 years of porn addiction, and the, the, the two weeks of hell when I was planning my suicide, now I bless and I'm so grateful for that. Why? For one reason. I came to a realization that a porn addict, you know, when he heals 
foreign addiction, that's 50% of the world. The other 50% is what is he, what is he going to do with his sexual energy? Because sexual energy is a life force, it's creative energy. We create everything with our sacred chakra where sexual energy comes from. And once you start guiding that man towards that path, you create heaven on earth. Wow. So it's almost like a person who's addicted and is willing to heal is this warrior, this, this king, you know, magician, lover. Like Absolutely, yeah. It's this, in all the archetypes. Like he, Robert Gillette says, yeah. He's ready to do things that are creative and world-changing. Exactly, exactly. And, ah. and guess what? This is the most beautiful thing that you and I, we are being part of, of this amazing movement. When you allow this man, because masculine energy is about a lot about transmission and allowing. I give you the permission, you know, the king blessing, you know, the king blesses you. So you take action is literally the blessing of the fire telling you, yes, you can, right? When you do this and allow a man to use his sacred sexual energy for the good of the planet, then this man takes the authorization and start walking the path. Because he already has it in him. It's like a sign. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, yeah. uh, your sexual energy is so much that you must be addicted to something that's triggering it. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and, that, and, and, and should be oriented towards life and expansion and expansion i'm talking about in the whole meaning of the world okay tell me this man mm -hmm. a lot of your porn addicts mm -hmm. have or your clients you know who are you know future they won't be addicted anymore because you're gonna you're gonna overcome that with them absolutely what 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 do you do or, or what sorts of exercises do you do to help them with guilt? With guilt, I start reviewing belief systems because it, it definitely comes from the belief system, but as, has a, you know, such a deep association of everything related to sexuality, to guilt, and a worst consequence, a worst consequence, which is shame, you know, yeah. because that somehow ends up attaching yourself to the identity of the addict. So in other words, you don't say, I have this problem of this addiction that I can solve. You say, I am an, a fucking addict, you know, <sighs> so there's something wrong with me, not with something that I have created in my life or I, I have developed, you know? There is a huge, huge difference of perspective. So I, when I start creating that difference, on that gap, we start operating, and then we observe the shame and the guilt, and little by little, of course, this is a, this is a work that requires a lot of shame, compassion, and love, let me tell you, because, uh, and not from me to them, from them to themselves. Right. So yeah, man, it's, 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 it's a, but it, it, I mean, little by little, you know, you know what, I, what I, the most beautiful part, Arhan, is that at the beginning, I was feeling so good, oh, I'm helping these men and this and that. You know what? They are my teacher. They are teaching me every day, you know, so I can help them better and I can help the next one better. Dude, that's so great. That's so great. Um, if someone wants to reach you, because I know that a lot of our guys, for sure, I know this for a fact. You know, I asked uh, Imran recently, I said, you know, tell us the three things that people follow us for, the three top things. Mm -hmm. And he said, porn-induced erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. hair, hair stuff, and, um, and the third one was 
something else. I think it was like how to boost testosterone or something. But, Mm -hmm. but dude, like there's a lot of followers that are interested in how to recover Mm -hmm. and all the little details and the emotional and all that stuff. So if they want to get your coaching, Mm -hmm. they want to join your, your, or watch your podcast. Mm -hmm. um, How do they get to you? Well, for the Spanish speakers, uh, I have a podcast called Masculinidad Consciente, Conscious Masculinity. Wow. And for the English speakers, I have conversations about men. Wow. Um, my, my book, uh, Conquering Porn Addiction, the English version is coming uh, last week of January. Nice. So, and, um, and obviously for the Spanish speakers, is Venciendo la Adicción al Porno, same, the same book. Uh, I tell my stories, 30% my story, 70% of my, you know, the steps that I, that I provide. If they want to be in touch with me, Instagram, Gonzalo Salinas 80. Gonzalo, G-O-N-Z-A-L-O-S-A-L-I-N-A-S, 80. Or they can go to my website or write me an email, Gonzalo at GonzaloSalinas.net. Perfect. Dude, so awesome, man. You're going to have people reaching out to you. I'll also put all this stuff in the description. Absolutely. Um, Because, man, like, it's a battle. That is a long-term battle. Mm -hmm. It's a marathon. It's not a Mm -hmm. quick fix. It's not an overnight solution. You know this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, And, dude, thanks so much, Um, not just for, you know, granting this interview to us, but also for fighting for something you believe in. Mm-hmm. and changing lives every day and mm-hmm. the fulfillment and satisfaction that you get from your work. Thank That's you so the key. Well, it's especially coming from you because you are one of the uh, men on this planet that I respect the most. I've seen your growth in the trajectory that you've had for, the, for years. You know, I've been following since the RSD times mm-hmm. to now that you are on a different space of your life, you know, creating a safe container for men. Thank you so much. Especially those words coming from you mean a, a lot to my heart. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Have a beautiful day. All right, buddy.